A new Ark Genesis 2 mode. Primal Survival Play as a Dino is back. And a little hint towards the animated TV series. You're right kids, it's Ras Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share around and let's get into it. So when we thought it was all over and we weren't going to get any news this weekend, Jeremy, the co-creative director of Ark Survival Evolved and co-founder of Wildcard, came out with the big guns and dropped an insane tweet. An unreal reveal of a few modes coming to Ark, one of which that was teased at years ago and one that's absolutely brand new and I can't tell whether it's a joke or not, but here it is, Gen 2 Arc TS Commander Mode. So what is this? It certainly looks like it's sustaining the graphics of Arc that we know today, so it's not a separate game. It certainly looks like it's using the same engine in an RTS slash Command and Conquer style playthrough. And for Jeremy to state Gen 2, he must mean this is dropping with Genesis Part 2. So what does that mean? Does it mean that it's perhaps a mode within the game? Or is it possibly a new tool in Arc that's coming that will allow you some Command and Conquer point and click and action insanity? I'm imagining it's the former, it's a mode. He says the word mode. It's really thrown me off guard because for all we thought, Genesis 2 was the priority. The developers were working towards ensuring Genesis 2 was coming out as best as it possibly could. And then comes along this mode that you can see is certainly not on Genesis, it's on the island, as we can see in the bottom right hand corner of the picture. And I'm just bewildered as to what this entails. RTS games are a thing, it's not my type of thing, but I know a lot of people love those type of games. So it's interesting to see that Wild Card have taken a stab at bringing in that demographic of players through a mode that I am just so surprised at and compelled to understand what this means. It really is bewildering this, how it's going to be set up, how it's going to play. We're assuming, of course, that this might possibly be on only the island, but for all we know, this could be set up to be played on all other maps. But taking in the velocity of maps, how creatures scale along rocks, debris, how is that going to work from a vertical bird's eye view? It's really, really interesting, and I'm excited to see what this means for Ark, for Genesis Part 2, but most of all, the longevity of Ark. As I've said before, the gap between Arc Genesis Part 2 starting and then Arc 2 coming out is a big, big gap, especially for PlayStation owners. As I've said before, with a 2022 release date for Xbox as an exclusive, I'm betting we're not going to see Arc 2 on PS5 until at least 2023. That's a big chunk of time on how you're going to keep your players involved and interested in the game. And this appears to be it, RTS. But of course, there's another mode. Primal Survival is back, in some shape or form. Jeremy states that they're finishing the support of players a dino function for directly playing creatures without human characters to create creature death matches. We can see here, we've got a drone off. <laughs> drones fighting drones. And it's very much looking like the Primal Survival mod that we know was announced years ago and was planned to be integrated into the core game. Primal Survival was an upcoming total conversion for Ark Survival Evolved, which was first announced way back in 2016, planning to be released in 2017, but then got canned along with Survival of the Fittest. And in this mode, it was planned that players would be able to play, live and breed as any of the Ark creatures and I can kind of see why it was canned. There's games that have come out since that demonstrate just playing as the creature just isn't quite as fun. But there's a market for it. There's a lot of players that wanted to see this happen, that wanted to be a part of this. And I can certainly agree, I would certainly like to try this out myself. But the timing is just so bizarre. The fact that this was just put in a tweet not in any announcements, wasn't broadcasted through any sort of news feed, wasn't in the community crunch, leads some to believe that this is a very late April Fool's joke. But it's not April Fool's Day. We're far gone from it now. 
So wildcard marketing team, I think you need to have a chat with your co-founder on what's going on there and formulate this into a proper announcement so we can digest this and understand what this really means. Is this the future of ARK post-Genesis Part 2 until we get to ARK 2? Is this the start of more mods being dropped in ARK on a regular basis? Having more freedom with the game as the team work towards ARK 2? We need clarity, we need more information, oh my word. This is some mega news, the sort of stuff we haven't heard in ARK for years. Different modes, mods coming to ARK, the core game, giving you new experiences, new ways to play it. This should be shouted from the rooftops and we need to learn more. So Wildcard, come on, come out with the big guns, tell us what's going on and we'll all be sitting here like cold springs. And finally, we got a new still of the ARK animated TV series. It's great to see this. It's great to see more artwork of this beautifully crafted motion picture that's following ARK's lore, of course, in the footsteps of Helena Walker, who wrote the original notes on the island. And here we can see her meeting a dodo. <laughs> there you go. But you've got to appreciate the detail going into this. With the voice actors alone, this is being set up to be something absolutely, truly special. If you don't know who they are, I've got a video on every single voice actor. Go and check it out. Link in the description. But you've got the likes of Russell Crowe, David Tennant, Gerard Butler, big movie names, all coming together with a very talented studio and delivering this animated TV series. I hope you all enjoyed this. What do you think? Comment below. I want to see your reactions on what this is all about. What do you think of the RTS mode? What do you think of Primal Survival returning after so many years of being in darkness? And of course, a big shout out to Jade Plays Games. He was the one to tell me about this news when it dropped and has provided his own cover on what he believes all this to be himself. So go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description on his video on this. My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, peace out.